So what's going on guys? If you're new to the channel, I always explore new streaming services. My name is Leo Rydell, and if you're new here, hook me up with that HBO special. Y'all know what that is? That's the Help A Brother Out special. Hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, and hit like if you like videos on the latest in movies, TV shows with a sprinkle of anime and gaming, guys. And I'm here today to give you your first look at Paramount Plus, guys. All right, so let's have a look in three, two, one. Okay, so here we are, guys. Here is the layout for Paramount Plus. I mean, so far, kind of looks like CBS All Access, doesn't it? But it looks kind of similar to other streaming services that I've explored. This is pretty cool. You got shows, movies, live TVs up here. Oh, wow. Do they have like local stations, ET Live, CBS Sports? Then they've got their brands here, CBS, BET, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, and Smithsonian, and then like a news banner. So let's check these out. This is pretty nice to have these sectioned out by brand. Sorry guys, I am exhausted. It is midnight here. And I like that they've got this trending tab. Very much looks like Netflix. It looks like a lot of streaming services are echoing Netflix now. But I gotta admit, I don't watch a ton of these shows. Like, obviously, I know a late show, Stephen Colbert, Bull, NCIS, Blue Bloods. This very much has its own niche market, and that's what this is starting to become. We're straying away from cable, and we're into streaming services land. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to cable a la carte <laughs> but we've got that camp coral that spongebob camp coral which is a prequel series to spongebob if i'm not mistaken or is it a sequel i want to say it's like a prequel or something like that but i don't think spongebob needs another series i don't know about you guys but the real world homecoming which is a new paramount plus real world for heaven's sake are you afraid of the dark so they've got these recently added shows. Catfish Trolls? Wonder what that's all about. I like that the icons actually kind of pan in a little bit as you hover over them. That's nice. It's a clean layout and a clean look. It's not very colorful until you actually hover over these little banners. I wonder what happens when you go to a separate one. So let's click Nickelodeon. Oh, see, I thought it would be cool if it would, this was like an orange layout, but I understand they want it to look simple, maybe not too complex. So of course, SpongeBob is like number one on the trending. Hey, they got Fairly Odd Parents. That's what's up. I love Fairly Odd Parents. Zoe 101, iCarly. Man, that's sad to hear about Jeanette McGurdy. If y'all haven't heard, she is embarrassed with this role of Sam and doesn't want to come back to the show. That's a big bummer. Um, wow, they have Blue's Clues. They just got all the Nick classics. Jimmy Neutron, my guy, Cat Dog. Yo, they got Cat Dog, Rugrats. They got the classics up on here. Hey Arnold, Keenan and Kale. And they got All Grown Up. Okay, I love the library for this. Is this like a live action Fairly Odd Parents? I've never seen that before. Holy smokes. Ooh, does this mean Avatar is off Netflix? Ooh, I'll have to look that up after this. I didn't know they were off Netflix. Oh man, that's rough. Now you're going to have to subscribe to Paramount Plus to get Avatar. So I know they're going to be making new Avatar movies and potentially shows. So man, they got Wild Thornberries, all that. Ah, uh, real monsters. Okay, this is the money low right here, baby. Like, wow, Invader Zim is up on here. Like, they got everything on here. So, okay, they have this Invader Zim. What's a little bit weird about that is Netflix just made an Invader Zim special. Or was that Nick in partnership with Netflix? Y'all let me know down in the comments. I'm not entirely sure myself. They got Double Dare. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, they just got Chalk Zone. Like, bro, they got all the Nickelodeon classics, yo. This is tight. And it seems damn near endless. That George of the Jungle series. Like, wow. They they pretty much have every single Nickelodeon show that aired on the network on here. Holy crap. This is crazy. 
Do they have, I wonder if they have Doug. Yeah, they do. Oh my God, they have Doug. Legend of Korra. So yeah, that must have left Netflix. That's a big bummer. Cause I don't know if I'll keep paying for this, but uh, like it's got a really good Nickelodeon library. I like scrolling by the brands because you can go to the shows, the movies. I wonder what movies they've got. <laughs> Console Wars, Fists of Fury, <laughs> Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Oh wow, they got The Godfather, H2O, holy smokes. The Indiana Jones Trilogy. Ooh, a lot is leaving Netflix looking at this list. Jackie Brown. Oh, wow, they got the first Mission Impossible. That's tight. Oh, everything's in alphabetical order. That's super helpful. Not a huge movie library, though. I'm assuming it's because a ton of other streaming services like Hulu, Netflix, and others probably have rights to so many Paramount's movies. Like, so many. They got the Star Trek trilogy of films to catch a thief while thornberry is in Zodi zodiac oh dope they got harlem knights tight yeah the movie library is not that okay so it's popular okay excuse me guys i wasn't even in the a to z so they got action comedy documentaries drama i was just in the popular i was like whoa this is a small library oh smokes okay so they actually have a lot Excuse me, I was browsing in the popular, y'all. They have a lot of stuff. Boomerang, Bruce Lee, The Legend. Ooh, this might be something good to watch. Wow, there's so much on the service, actually. Chinatown. They've got so much stuff. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> y'all delete that first part of the video forget i said all that about limited libraries because this is extensive that's what i was wondering i was like how do they only have like 20 movies what got an elvis from dust till dawn i'm looking at all these and i'm just like dude i seen these on netflix Ooh, they are losing a lot hey they got that hey arnold the movie though wow they have a lot of movies actually Tons of movies. It's gonna do a quick scroll, see what else stands out. <laughs> Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events. Netflix did a better take on those movies or books, I thought. Uh, what the million dollar American princess Meghan Markle? I didn't know she had a show. There's so much on here. Okay. Yeah, I take it back. I definitely take it back. Because I was like sitting here like, oh, there's... Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing. Yeah, there's plenty. So let's go to the shows tab. I mean, Nickelodeon alone had a ton. Yeah, there's probably even more shows. This is the popular tab. Avatar, man. Top three, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go to the A to Z just to kind of browse a full library. <laughs> There's a lot on here, man. All that, Archie's Weird Mysteries. Yeah, I mean, every letter has like a ton of shows. Yeah, so that's the show library, very extensive. I mean, between Nickelodeon, MTV, there's a Dora and Friends. That's weird. Uh, between Nickelodeon, MTV, BT, like there's a ton. Let's have a look at the live TV stuff. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is straight up live TV, y'all. ET exclusive. So CBS, you get your pull in your local station, I'm assuming. That's why they asked at the very beginning for my location. So, okay, it's on ET 24 seven news. So what is this? Just all news coverage, yep. This is just a essential like little news channel that does news 24 seven. Sports HQ. 
because Disney got that ESPN on lock. So if y'all want the real sports center. So yeah, it's like very extensive. It doesn't really have like color wise. It doesn't have like an outstanding. Uh oh. Color wise, it doesn't have an outstanding look, but I mean, look wise and, and browsing wise, it's easy to browse. It's easy to see things. Oh, wow. They even have I Love Lucy. <laughs> it's easy to see and spot things. It's not hard to navigate through. And they got everything real world, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> wow. Wonder what this catfish trolls is. Cribs. So this is just the popular. This is just the trending stuff. I'm sure they got Jersey Shore on here. I wonder why I can't go to like the full catalog though. So I just see the trending. Ooh. I must have to go back home and then go to the actual. Ooh. -oh. Welcome to Paramount Plus. Yep, because this was CBS All Access a few hours ago. Oh, look. Smithsonian. Dang, I'm getting all kind of notifications, y'all. I apologize. So you must have to go to the actual... That's kind of weird. Huh. You must have to go to, like, the full TV. Because... This is just the trending stuff, it looks like. This isn't all of MTV. That's a little problematic. Drake and Josh, baby! Awesome. Nickelodeon got a ton of trending stuff. So you can go to shows. What would be nice under shows is if up here they separated it by brand. If they went brand and you could go to, like if you went up to shows and you went to the select brand, that would actually be really, really helpful, I think. And I thought I was doing it earlier somehow, but, and maybe I'm just overlooking it, but it looks to me like I click on the actual brand and it only shows the trending stuff. And it's like, what about like everything? Is it only, is this everything or is this only trending? Cause this says trending only. So I would like to see, it looks like this is everything though. Like it looks, this looks to be everything on here. But at the top it says trending, which could be a little misleading, but I think this is everything in the collection. See how right here it says trending, huh? But wow, guys, very extensive library. The movie library is a lot more extensive than I thought. I wonder what this news is. Okay, so this is a watch a live. Okay, so you can even go to shows. You can go to specific stories. Ew. Oof, I don't I do all that. <laughs> but you can even go to specific stories. specific news shows this is really good for somebody who likes news coverage especially if you're in the cbs they have local areas oh wow could i watch like cbs new york from denver oh that's really cool okay so you can even watch like other stations that's actually really impressive very impressive. Holy smokes. So this is really extensive too. Like the news library. You can see weekly news, full episodes, daily, originals. This is really good. Like this is a very extensive library of shows, movies, and news. A very extensive library of media. It's definitely going to last. Uh, don't have to really question its longevity because with brands like Comedy Central, I mean, Paramount at itself is a mega brand. CBS is a mega brand, but all these brands are just 
huge. Like, there's no way this is going to shut down. It was CBS All Access, but changing it to Pl Paramount Plus, they're rolling with the Disney Plus thing, and everybody's doing that. Discovery Plus, Paramount Plus, Disney Plus. What's next? Is Hulu going to become Hulu Plus? So, yeah, everybody's rolling with the Plus name, but this, this is good, guys. Like, they got the classics and stuff. This is really, really good, actually. This is a good streaming service that I think for, especially for a select market, could be really worth it. I mean, the Comedy Central tab alone, like, there are people that love, love Comedy Central shows. So this could really help bring in a big audience of people that love Comedy Central, love MTV, love Nickelodeon, and I love Avatar The Last Airbender. And I always want access to it, so this would be the only way. Guys, let me know your thoughts. Have you checked out Paramount Plus yet? And if so, let me know what you think about it so far. If not, do you think you're going to get it based off my review here? Let me know down in the comments, guys. And if you're new here, hook me up with that HBO special. Hit that subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Geekly Goods.